number 129 in the Indicator series is Robert Rosen's Lilith, starring Warren Beatty and this is a movie all about an upscale asylum. Uh, rich people have sent uh, eccentric family members or people who uh, desperately need help to this rather large mansion uh, place where uh, it seems like a almost retreat kind of asylum. Warren Beatty's character at the start, Vincent, goes there for a job interview, gets kind of hired on the spot as a, a, a trainee uh, occupational therapist and he just kind of instigates himself into the, this building, the people that are in there, starting to make himself friends with the, the patients and his job is basically just to keep these people company and give reports back to the doctors telling them about what he has experienced with each of the patients. And as we kind of join the movie we see that uh, Vincent uh, is a character that's a little bit damaged, it doesn't quite go into it straight away um, but he's out of the army, um, his relationship with his mother uh, something that's evolved throughout the movie that, like I don't want to really stretch on just now but the whole crux of the movie the titular character Lilith is one of the patients that Beatty's Vincent comes in contact with and this is a kind of person that lives in their own fantasy world doesn't really interact with many of the other patients but has this kind of air and grace about herself that is very captivating for everybody around about him and quickly uh, Vincent's character becomes attracted to Lilith and starts to give her more care than the rest eventually evolving into a relationship and this is a kind of fun interesting movie for the most part you're watching these people connect and it's fun having these moments where you're not quite sure what exactly the end game is for either of them uh, even some good fun moments when Vincent, there's a particular scene that I really liked when Vincent is recounting his story with Lilith uh, to the doctor with the head uh, nurse there I think it is and the acting's actually really good he, the way he's describing the story is good, he's been fully honest and then after that moment he starts to slip further and further away from being a model professional than he should be starting to have that relationship with Lilith that really turns the tables in the power of that relationship as long as he's standing back resisting her charms he has the upper hand and she seems to be constantly chasing him but as soon as he succumbs to her wily ways he starts to lose the power in this dynamic becoming um, more of a follower uh, rather than a leader in that relationship and that's the power of Lilith throughout the movie. You can tell there's a kind of strange oddity to this character and she is rather captivating and enticing throughout the film and seems to revel in having that persona of somebody that is uh, people want to be around, want to please, uh, want to engage with. The only problem with the movie is is the, the where it's ending up, where it's going to at the end of the movie is, is signposted from the start. It's, it's a journey all about Vincent's character and you kind of know where he's going to end up and on its final line of where it ends up is great but I just feel with Beatty who is rather charming he doesn't seem to have this nuance of, of layering up the emotions within his character he's almost too aloof throughout the movie to be really engaged by what's going on there are moments that are kind of fun there are moments where there is deep suspense within the movie there's a, a, a particular moment where um, Vincent and, and Lilith are, are went back to her room and, and he's kind of playing with her almost beginning as if he's going to uh, grab her and, and she's kind of pretending to be afraid and then they go in for a clinch and then suddenly there's these echoing footsteps heading towards them and they have that dangerous moment of, of not breaking that clinch while the footsteps are so close as they're behind the doorway and then they go away again and it just has these moments of suspense that add to the, the kind of odd culture and weird atmosphere uh, of the movie. I kind of like Lilith uh, but I ultimately feel as if it could have been a lot better if some of the thematics and some uh, of the performances were just worked a little bit harder. Um, but it looks great, it's a fun movie, it's interesting enough, um, different enough 
that I would say, yes, it's worth checking out. Just, <laughs> I'd love to know your thoughts on this movie. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.